Hey everybody and welcome back to Lord of the Rings by the Light of the Strange. David, this is Officer Corn. Just want to let you know your stepdaughter's car was identified near the Blackwell campus last night, around the time of the break-in. What? You uh, soon, are you in trouble again, Chloe? Don't you sleep? Bowser, Chloe still eats the same cereal. I think Chloe has earned a break from all this bullshit. I love that they still have the same refrigerator. Good morning, Joyce. Rachel! Oh, oh, I mean, Max! Why did you saw me? You fit those clothes well. If God don't know how to hell raise a lot of her or Chloe. Now tell me exactly what you want to travel on. Pancakes. I'm dying for some of your famous pancakes. I thought you would have missed those. Ah, you ain't more than William. And he loves them. <laughs> I remember. We would erase each other to grab the from the stack. So this time, you can help me with the ingredients. I need you to grab me the eggs and milk. Egg and milk? No problem. I love that they still have the same refrigerator. Come on, Max. Find those ingredients so we can chow down. There's the milk. Now for the mother's milk. And it's the heat. Ah. Jeez, can you help the eggs always come first, as Joyce used to say? Thanks. After all these years and everything that's happened, it's great to see you and Chloe together again. She hasn't had a good friend since you were Rachel. Oh, those clothes remind me so much of her. Such a sweet girl. I'm just hoping she's living large in L.A. I'd love to think that too, Joyce, but we're on the same page, Max. I keep hoping that Rachel will show up or even send a message to Chloe from Hollywood. Boy, what is she? <coughs> is Rachel okay? Be honest, Joyce. Do you think Rachel is okay? Uh, I hope so. She was, is, smart. And she always laid it on her feet. Maybe I don't know her as well as I thought. Maybe Chloe doesn't either. Sometimes I feel like I don't know Chloe as well as I thought. <laughs> Max Caulfield, are you actually jealous of Rachel? Maybe. Maybe. 
Rachel was so much cooler than me. <laughs> what do you think? Then why has Chloe been telling me she wishes she could be more like you over the past five years? Doubt it. Um, did she really? Five years ago feels like a thousand now. And that makes me what? A century old? Oh, you're only 18, Max. Oh, you. Only I could go back. It's not all that, Joyce. Voila, a breakfast fit for us queens. And the king. Go sit at the table. I keep expecting to see the sky turn red. Thank you so much, Joyce. I'm never leaving this table. Good, you can clean. These photos don't measure up to your work, Max. My favorite photographers probably take pictures similar to yours. You make David happy, Joyce. He wants us all to be happy, Max. It's not great at showing. Uh, I don't think I can wrap this up at like Rachel. You have your own cool stuff. remember that day. I'm glad William took this picture with his instant camera. <laughs> oh, it was the last picture he ever took. He had his car out right after this. And, and I know, Joyce. I'm sorry. I didn't show you this to be more vivid. In fact, I want you to have this. This is when my baby was so full of life and life. She was hopeful, positive, and everything she's not today. And this was the last time I ever saw Chloe truly happy. And speaking of the devil, who she is. Did you guys have a bonding session about how fucked up I am? It's not always about you. Chloe, please. It's too early to stop taking a bath. Eat instead. I'll keep the board busy while you go peek in the garage. Now stop whispering or I'll know you're talking about me. Stop being so nosy, mother. Jeez, I can't do anything around here without everybody getting up in my shit. Uh, no one can even joke with you, Chloe. You fly off the handle like that. Excuse me, I have to use the bathroom. Sure, run off and pee when you should back me up. Now who's being paranoid? Just listen to yourself. Nobody else does. I do need to get into David's computer. He's got to be hiding shit. No shit, it needs a password. How about step douche? Try again. I need no clues. Naturally, David. I can't even see the combination. 
It might be useful password. Seven one seven one. Alright, let's try it. Uh first seven one seven. Magic Inkball says no. First, no. Full fire. <sighs> Try again. No way, Max. You totally froze the laptop. I could try the license number for the password. Oh, Such wrong. No way, Max. You took it off. Now. Oh, it's just one more thing to make her sad. 
and loud. Hey Max, just want to thank you for actually giving a shit about me and my mum. We all saw how much you cared about kids when nobody else did. Thanks. Kyla, I know you care too. If you want to play a love to style you up, if you want, I, if I do go, I would love to get a makeover. Talk soon. Hey, it's the douche bag. Nice breakfast. Thank you. You back already? I have to take a nap after writing a vandalism report last night. What happened? The little shit-ass punks broke into the swimming pool. This is what happens at these PC bullshit colleges. Entitled students taking over the campus. Do you know for sure it was Blackwell students? Who else would do it? I'm going to bust them. Is that your Rachel Amber Halloween costume? You know more about her than me. No. You and Chloe think you know more than anybody. Like all teenagers. Leave Max alone, David. Stop threatening students. He threatens them with surveillance cameras so he can spy on everybody. Like he spies on all of us here. Don't start, Chloe. Not now. Yeah, I'm just always starting shit, right? You're a total paranoid, David. Not now, Chloe. You used to call me a loser for getting kicked out of Blackwell. So who's the loser now, David? Who haven't you accused or harassed? Between your investigations into Rachel and Kate, what have you done besides get in trouble? I'm going to side with Chloe with this. You're a boy, David. I saw you harass Kate Marsh when she was going to hell. You could have totally helped her. Everybody at Blackwell is a suspect to you, except for Nathan Prescott. That's why the students and faculty don't like you. You even threatened me. I do respect your service, but you don't respect anybody. Uh, you're smoking pot in Chloe's room. That's illegal. So is spying on people in your family at your work. Why do you have photos of Kate Marsh and Rachel Amber in your files anyway? What? Is this true, Max? Yes, David. Why do you have these files at all? I find this very disturbing. I do not. I have to take this kind of interrogation. Not from you punks. Maybe you should calm down. Oh, you're turning on me now, huh? Of course. Women always stick together. Well, screw you. David, you better go to a hotel until we figure this out. You can't kick me out of my own home. It's my home, David. Paid for and in my name. You know the law, right? Oh, I, I thought I knew a lot of things. Like when I'm on flight. Have a nice day, Chloe. For once, just please shut up. I hope Joyce doesn't hate me for tearing into David. Max, don't beat yourself up. Believe that I'm this all by myself. What was I don't see or hear you again, Max. You've hurt me and my family enough. Max, that gave me chills. And you better not remind this one. Sure. I'll leave. Listen, when I went through David's laptop, I found pictures of Rachel and Frank being more than friends. <laughs> right, no way, Max. She was just posing to tease Frank. If you're not going to believe me, why don't we check out the front house in his RV? What's that going to prove? Frank has Rachel's bracelet. What else does he have in there? Motherfucker better not have anything. For his sake. Well, let's check the door. Frank gets so wasted, he sometimes forgets to lock it. I can't believe you hung out with him anymore. We have to be casual ninjas here. 
Okay, here's the plan. I'll go to the diner and distract Frank by telling him I have his money, but he needs to come with me. Then you come in and walk so Frank doesn't see me. Then you can tell Frank he needs to check out his RV, and then you rewind after you get the key and, uh, and... Chloe, I'll be right back. Don't let my epic plan get in the way of yours. I'll try to scrounge with the Scooby snack to distract his raging what? Now to find a quick and easy way to snag Frank's keys. Oh, nasty shit. I hope she finds a nice key phone to keep the doggy busy. Maxi, Pope here. I'm sorry I haven't gotten touch sooner. I know um, your mom is very proud of you saving, like, you know, as I am. We have no doubt makers proud read about you in the news and see an actual video of you walking down from the roof with a girl. And if you want to come back home to relax and maybe go high school around here, the door is wide open. Love that. Thanks, Bob. It's been a, a while. Why? Wild wind. I'm not ready to come home yet. Talk later, Max. Look at all these flyers. It's so sad that nobody will read them. Good morning. How are the fish today? No ass. First the snow, then an eclipse. What's next? The tornado? Climate change? You don't think it could be like climate change or something? Climate sure has changed around here. You saw that Prescott brat having a fit by himself in the parking lot. Isn't he always having a fit? He ain't the only one. You knew what was going on with the fish around Arcadia Bay. Sorry, I'm too pissed to talk about it. You're around, kid. The truck. Hey, how's it going? Peachy. Interview over. Bad day? Having a bad day at the office? Work is dried up around here, and I have bills to pay. Time is money for a guy like me. That sucks. Wish I could drive right out of Arcadia Bay. Old town is crumbling. Snow, clips, and a slut trying to commit suicide. Maybe you should leave then. What if I could? And even that shifty Rachel What's-Her-Face asked me once if I drive to Los Angeles. You knew Rachel Amber? Can you tell me about her? Nope. Christ, why don't you get a real job instead of home? I'd love to see you Blackwell turds try to drive my 1977 Needham 18-wheeler out there. Like I said, interview over. I'd love to do a whole Big Rig photo series. Hey, no photo girl. Uh, do they teach English over at that arty party school? I'm done talking. Over and out. Hey. Pete. Actually, I wanted to ask if that's your bitch in 1977 Native 18 wheeler out there. How the hell did you know that? Blackwell class? I took a Blackwell class on the history of truckers. I always wanted to drive a rig on the road. Finally, a Blackwell student with brains. Next time I get a local job, I'll let you ride along. Take care. Uh, do they teach English over at that party party school? I'm done talking. Hey! Do they teach English over at that party party school? I'm done talking.
Hi, how are you? I remember you. Max, can I get you something from the diner? I heard about that girl almost jumping off the blackware roof. Kate? Kate Marsh. I was able to actually talk her down from the roof. That was you? If I had a bottle, choose. Thanks. Wish I had a bottle for you. But I'll need to find out who else is involved in this. I'm probably a bigger snoop than you. People pretend to not see me, so I see everybody and everything. Nathan? Including Nathan Prescott? That spoiled shit finally got kicked out of his daddy's school. He also drugged the girl who tried to jump. Sounds like you know a lot more than me, child. I just think Arcadia Bay is in trouble. Maybe you'd like to tell me what you're hiding. Tell the truth. I feel like I can trust you as much as Chloe. And you want to think I'm crazy. Too late for me to judge anybody. Plus, you're not crazy. I'm just going to say this. I had a vision of Arcadia Bay being destroyed by a tornado. For real. Could be. Bad mojo is in the air this week. Thanks for the warning, Max. Thanks for that storm warning, Max. And, uh, I'll let you know if I find out anything. Good lord, Megan. I'm ready to nosh again. Oh, but I need to get those keys from Frank. Okay, it's officially sold out. But I'm also to get us both tickets. I have to fight a dozen bullies up for them. Freaking it. Now let me, officer. I'm just here to steal a drug dealer's keys. I just wanted to see what would happen if I did this. I'm gonna kill you. You eat like a pig. Try the floor. I was eating those beans. Are you fucking insane? I was eating those beans. <laughs> you show up after almost shooting me? You have serious balls, little girl. But hanging out with Chloe, playing with guns, and dressing like Rachel doesn't make you cool or tough. The fuck do you want? How do you know these are Rachel's clothes? Because she looks beautiful in them and you look like ass. Even a gun doesn't make you any sexier. Grab your keys and let's check out your RV. Let's not. You fucking creep me out. <laughs> what in the other words, Max, no keys. Maybe I could chat up that officer, or even Nathan, and then go all Groundhog Day on them until I get the info I need. Chloe's death. Could I get you to drop Chloe's death? Aren't you supposed to be a smart student? You'll find out if you do me this favor. Thanks, Godmother, but I don't need your favors. And Chloe doesn't get any from me. <laughs> There she is, Super Maxine. That's your new nickname, by the way. Sorry, but you did earn it. We're all real proud of you for helping Kate down. Thanks, Officer Barry. I was just lucky. And right on time. Kate is in counts. I'm glad you're representing Blackboard Academy. And weird town. Do you think Arcadia Bay is a weird town? I'd take a normal city with normal problems about now. Makes me sick thinking about it. 
Um, Nathan Prescott. I thought Nathan Prescott represents Blackwell. Well, you don't make me back watch this baby. You know what the Prescotts represent. Taking over our video there. You're not far wrong, Max. I heard the Prescotts are working on some new big land deals. Mr. Prescott helped out my family once a while ago, so I made a deal with him that I can't seem to get out of. Man, if I could get one instant replay in life. I better finish my breakfast first. We'll chat later, Max. <laughs> Thanks, huh? The Prescott deal? Well, I heard that remember you were working for the Prescott family on the side. Jesus, doesn't this town ever shut up? I don't blame you for getting extra work. Look, sometimes I check up on the Prescott family to make sure they're doing all right. Nathan included. Keep this quiet, Max. Try and carry me somebody else, Lieutenant Caulfield. What can I do for you, Max? David Madsen. I feel like David Madsen represents Blackwell. Not for long. He's a loose cannon. Well respect him for his service, but he's too eager. He's eager to be a dick to me and Chloe. That's true. He was ranting about a stolen gun, then I tuned out. So he's always out to get him. What can I do for you, Kate Marsh. I guess Kate Marsh will be the face of Blackwell for a while. And you for helping her. That's the kind of school spirit we need more of. Rachel! Ah, uh, whatever the fuck. Uh, oh look, Max Amber. Nice outfit. By the way, thanks for getting me fucking expelled, you tweet, bitch. Lucky this is a public place. Considering we're in a public diner with a police officer right over there, you shouldn't advertise your rage, Prescott. Oh, yeah? You shouldn't have bitch snitched on me to that fucked up principal. Your father. Your sugar daddy will always protect you and threaten me. You don't know shit about my father or me. Nobody here does. Then tell me what I should know. Why? So you can pretend to care? Hmm? Spoiler alert, he's an asshole. Maybe I can help you. I don't need you for anything except to stay out of my fucking business, understand? Now get out of my face. Listen, Nathan. I'll take back everything I said about you. If you hook me up with Frank. Know what I mean? You look like you've never even taken a hit of baby aspirin. How do you think I stay wired all night studying? So is it a deal or not? Calm down, hard up. Deal. You'll get your school supplies. Just go over to Frank and whisper, higher education. No hook your ass up. Holy shit, what do you want now? Kate Marsh. I bet you hoped that Kate Marsh would stay quiet. Idiot says what? Did you drug her? You were so stupid, Max. You think you're so goddamn smart, too. Don't push me, girl. You don't want me for an enemy, understand? Do you? Calm down, dude. We're in a diner. Right. 
Russ, you're an adult now. I can sue your dumbass for libel. Thanks. Now fuck off, Dyke. Holy shit, what do you want now? Rachel and Frank. I bet Frank hooked you and Rachel Amber up with party supplies. Nice try. Rachel party like a fiend on her own. More than me. I doubt that. Like you would know, virgin. Even that pig over there knows Rachel hung out more with Frank. I mean, don't talk to the cop about that, dumbass. Holy sh- The cop's information. I heard your dad hired a local cop to keep an eye out on you and Frank Bowers. Like a babysitter. Bullshit! My dad doesn't hire. He owns. And these pigs know better than to knock on me. Do they? I hope that means Frank won't get busted. Eventually he will. Guy's into some freaky shit. He told me once he took a weird blood oath for Rachel. Uh, forget I told you that. Seriously. Now get off my crack, whore. Keep your piles shut. Eh, uh, shit. Thanks, so. huh? I'm glad. Weird sound. I can't. Uh, I feel like he's What can I do for I guess Kate Marshall. Hey. Well, I don't blame him. Look. What can I do for you? Rachel and Al Frank. Nathan said that Rachel Amber represents Blackwell with Frank Bowers. Bowers ain't no student anymore. Sadly, he does represent one side of Arcadian Bay. Why don't you stay out of his orbit, okay? He may have that rabid mutt. I heard something about Frank Bowers and his puppy. That boy does love his dog. Especially when the dog is your personal drooling bodyguard. You couldn't bet he trained that poor thing on blood. Gross. I wouldn't bet. Where did he get the pup? Frank used to bet on dog fights. And to his credit, he had a revelation. He saved a bunch of dogs, kept one for himself. He's still a creep. You and that Chloe stay away, right? Yeah. Sure. Save dogs? You act so scary, but you did save all those dogs. One, I'm not acting. Two, who told you about the dogs? It's actually a great story. You're an animal lover. Could I pet the doggy? I could go grab him from your RV right now. <laughs> I don't want to even let you pick up the dog shit. Besides, you don't want a leash. You want these keys right here. Look at your eyes, Diane. You're worse than a junkie, Max. No fix for you. Mm -hmm. Oh, damn it, I didn't mean to do that. By the way, Frank, I was wondering if you had any, um, higher education. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, sure. You want the after-school special to go with that? Jesus. Look, I don't sell anything but bottles to feed me and my dog. I work for a living. Not like you spoiled Blackwell punks with too much time on your hands. But... But nothing. Don't ever ask me for anything ever again. Ever. I'm back off. Are you fucking stupid? Get out of my space. Damn, I really pissed him off. I need to go back. Get a new outfit. And leave me alone. 
Okay, go to you and we do everything very quickly. Um, so, so, basically, uh, speaking this up as, as I go. Kate, blah blah blah. Nathan. Tell the truth. Okay, there we go. Good morning. No. Skip. Fish. I heard that something bad was happening to the fish in Arcadia Bay. Well, since you mentioned it first, there ain't no fish in Arcadia Bay. What? Come on. None? None worth catching and eating anymore. I'm not shitting you. Salmon, trout, bass have died and migrated. Even the damn clams are dying. Oh my god. But what about... Sorry, it's too salty to talk about it. See you around, kid. Like I said, I'm done talking about this. I should have known. <laughs> the amazing Spider Max. I couldn't have done it without Frank. Now let's get in and out. You need this, Max. <coughs> On your mark, get set. Throw! I think we just made that dog our bitch. Now we can sneak in peace, but let's not waste time. The doggy is busy now, but he might come back. Damn, I thought my room was a shuttle. You're not a creepy drug dealer. Frank has issues, but he's not creepy. I wish I didn't think so until I saw him with Rachel's bracelet. Oh, we could 
cruise everywhere in this bad boy. Can you see us heading down the coast of Big Sur and beyond? Yes, we'd be tearing up the highway. And you'd probably want me to kiss you again. Chloe, we're on a schedule. We need clues about Rachel. You scoop the area while I'm sitting. Not nothing. Frank is almost a made for TV hoarder. This place is nasty. Pompadour? For real? That's a poodle's name. I think the doggy likes his bone more. Can't quite picture Frank and Curly drinking beer and hanging out. The archetypal filthy guy dishes. Good to know Frank has a knife lying around. It's taken days to develop. No prize here. Is Frank going to deal online now? I could pry this thing open with the right tool. That's almost so cute to see Frank posing with his dog. No more secrets. This vent is loose. I need someone to pry it open. Are these for Frank or is he selling them? Or both? Too bad I don't have my Frank Bowers decoder ring. That's right. Glad Frank treats something here with respect. Of course Frank gets the lunches. All his drug money on baggies. <sighs> Recycle, dude. That dog. <sighs> Stop it. This is almost as good as a set of keys. Curses. Nothing here. Oh shit, the knife is broken. My blade will open any part. Oh man, Rachel and Frank's dog. I don't know if I should be touched or disturbed. I'm glad Rachel got to drive this beast. She looks generally happy. Rachel really did hang out with Frank. I'm learning more about Rachel than I want to know. Hmm. Trouble in paradise. What? I need to find... What? I need to find... The gun? I cannot believe you would wear a collar and a furry mask.
Max, you didn't tell me you took photos of Frank in action. So I need to. That's a pretty extreme fire. Hmm. I doubt Frank is trying out for the Arcadia Bay Brewers. Wait. Wait, did he took the gun? I don't remember. I kind of remember where's the flipping gun. Rachel pose like this for Frank. I really love colors. I can't believe she was banging Frank. Rachel straight up lied to my face. Why didn't she say anything? Because she knew how you would react. And she wasn't much of a friend, huh? Just another person who shits all over me. Why does everybody in my life let me down? My dad gets killed. You bail on me for years. My mother gloms on a step fucker. Now Rachel betrays me. Chloe, Rachel is missing. Nobody betrayed you. Bullshit. Who has it? Fuck everybody! Chloe! for everything wrong in your life. It's so not fair. I blame somebody, otherwise it's all my fault. Fuck that. It's 
nobody's fault. It's just life. Shit happens. It's nobody's fault. Blah, 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 as Mr. Jefferson would say. And then Kate Marsh. Yes, Kate Marsh almost killed herself. Such sad, okay? That doesn't make me feel any better about my fucked up life. Get it? So who do you most want to blame? My fucking dad, of course. Hello? David? You blame David? I said my dad. My real father, who got himself killed for nothing. Not that human place over the choice. Chloe. Your dad didn't choose to leave you. I know that, Max. My mom actually blames herself. Just because she wanted to ride home from work. Sometimes, even I blame her. No, you don't. Yes, Max, I do. Do you know what it's like to wait for your father to come home when you're a kid? And he never does. No, of course not. But I was with you that day. It was just a terrible accident. I wish that made me feel better. But ever since he died, my life has been dipped in shit. I can tell. I can tell. But look at everything that's happened to us. Your life has changed, mine, and that's not shit. I'd really love to believe that. I'd like to believe in something after what's happened. Chloe, I can't do this out on my own. I need you with me. And Rachel needs you. And anyway guys, if you guys have enjoyed this episode, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.